China's frequent testing of hypersonic missiles has garnered the world's attention. Beijing's swift advancement. In contrast to Washington's comparatively slow pace, in the development of hypersonic weapons has added a threat perception. However, a newer, more unconventional weapon that China has been making progress with is also threatening the US and its allies. Over the years, China has given great impetus to technology that can help out in the field of cybersecurity and warfare. Analysts believe that state-sponsored hacking by the country is at an all-time high. Experts have claimed that Beijing is engaging in a form of low-level warfare that is intensifying, in spite of efforts by the likes of the US and Britain to curb it. Before we proceed to the main part of this video please like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel and click that notification bell below so that you will be notified to all of my videos. China continues to develop its already formidable integrated air defense system. Defense against stealth aircraft and unmanned aerial vehicles is also a growing priority, the report notes. The force includes Russian-built SA-20, S-300 PMU-1, PMU-2, and the indigenous HQ-9. Chinese naval threats have grown by leaps and bounds during the past decade. No class of surface warship has demonstrated this newfound naval might more than the modern Luyang 3 class guided missile destroyers, also known as the Type 052D, which began entering service in 2014. These air defense destroyers are fitted with the four panel Type 346A, NATO reporting name, Dragon Eye multifunction phased array radar system, which is combined with a 64-cell missile vertical launching system, VLS, to offer long-range area air defense, modern anti-ship, and, potentially, land attack cruise missile capabilities. The first Chinese-built carrier will likely be operational sometime at the beginning of the next decade. The formation of carrier battle groups will enable the plan to conduct comprehensive sea control and power projection operations and enhance its long-range operational capabilities, read the report. Though the carrier grabs headlines, the actual military utility of the ship is still very much up for debate. Liaoning currently is more of a political statement than a naval threat posing little operational danger to the United States, its allies in East Asia, or even to smaller regional nations. Paired with the Jin class is the new Chinese JL-2 SLBM, which is far more cable than the JL-1 missile that was paired to the Shaw class boomer. The missile has an estimated range of 7,400 kilometers. The Jin class and the JL-2 will give the PLA Navy its first credible sea-based nuclear deterrent, according to the report. China continues development of the twin-engine Chengdu J-25th generation stealth fighter as part of an effort to develop aircraft with low observable features, advanced avionics, super cruise engines. The Pentagon report insists that the aircraft will not enter service before 2018. The aircraft is described as a multi-role aircraft in the report rather than an air superiority fighter like the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor. 
The report notes, China faces numerous challenges to achieving full operational capability, including developing high-performance jet engines. If you want to know more about marine life please subscribe to my YouTube channel and we'll see you next week.